Imagine in the current world, you get into an Uber and the driver asks you, is it really you? In the future, the car has to know who you are because there won't be anybody in it. What is facial recognition? It's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack, essentially. We can find one face in a billion in about one thirtieth of a second. The way facial recognition works is we're finding points on your face, around the eyes, nose, mouth, and measuring the distances between those points. And then we compare that to other faces, either in a video or in still images. Personalization is a huge area of business. Uh, there's some good research that shows by next year, $800 billion worth of commerce will be in personalized experiences. This is everything from Netflix knowing what movies you want to watch, to iTunes telling you what songs you like. People are now expecting that experience in the real world. In our case, it's usually a relationship you have with the customer. So at a retailer, you may sign up to automatically pay with your face. You provide your photo, and you just go take things off the shelf, and it just knows who you are and charges your credit card. Maybe you go to a gym and you say, I want to check in and check out with your face. The two most common use cases of facial recognition in the, today's world are Facebook and Apple. So in Facebook, when you log in and it may tag you and say, you were tagged in this photo by your friend, or do you want to tag this person? It, it knows the person because of facial recognition. In Apple's flagship iPhone, uh, that's a really good example of facial recognition as well. You simply hold it up and it unlocks the device. And that uses facial recognition to make sure that only you are using that device. One of the interesting things about this approach is anonymous facial recognition. So sometimes you don't need to know who the person is, just that they are the same person. We have a, an interesting customer that is an airline. And so what they do is, when you go to check in for your ticket, they say, okay, this person is going to Buffalo, right? And then when they get to the, the board with all the cities that we all stand in front of and try to figure out where our city is, the people that are present, those cities will be bold. They don't need to know anything else about them, but just helps them to get to where they're going. In Minority Report, it was theoretically based in 2054. Everything you saw there, where someone's walking down the street and knows who you are, knows your age, gender, ethnicity, shows you clothes that you may want, well, all those things are possible today. And so if you're considering today's 2018, that's how fast this technology is going. By 2054, we'll be beyond sci-fi.